Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm about as excited as I can get because Detroit Bikes sent me this e-sparrow to review. Now today we're just gonna unbox it and assemble it, but in about a week I'll do the full detailed review, so make sure you subscribe so you can see that video. Let's get started. Now last time I opened this, it was pretty difficult because I tried just bringing everything from the top. Being this is an e-bike, it's gonna be even heavier, so I'm gonna try to kind of open it, lay it down, and then just lift the bike out. I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's give it a shot. And by the way, this is actually a brand new bike. I haven't seen any reviews yet on YouTube. I don't think they've actually shipped that many yet. So I'm pretty, pretty psyched to be, to be able to review this. One thing you should know, just for full transparency, Detroit Bikes did send me this bike for free to review. At Detroit Bikes, you get box in box technology to keep your bike as safe as possible. Okay, here we go. I think we're about to check it out. And ta da! Okay, here it is. Wow, that was way easier to open the box that way. So, what do I see? Of course, I see the two wheels, I see the bike, I see the handlebars, I see everything. Here's the pump they've included. Here's some additional accessories and so forth. Probably the battery right there. All right, let's start unpacking it. Awesome. Now, as with the regular Sparrow I reviewed already, this one seems to be very well packed as well. Good job, Detroit Bikes, on your packing. Nice foam down here. I don't expect anything to be damaged at all. Nice packing, double boxed everything. There we are. Okay. Wow. There we go. There it is. That's the bike, just as I'm seeing it for the first time with you. Here's the motor back there. The awesome looking thick, slick wheels. I love how they look. Chain guard looks, I think, a little bit different than the regular Sparrow. I mean, really, it's a Sparrow and it looks very similar, but I'll bet when I start looking at all the components, I bet most of them are going to be different. It's going to have a different frame. First of all, there's, I can see some, some wiring going down here. So that's got to be different. Has mounts for disc brakes. That's going to be different. I'm betting there's actually quite a bit different about this bike. There's probably not even going to be that much the same. Even looks wise, the stem, the other one is polished aluminum. This one's fat, flat black. The wheels also flat black where the other is uh, silver painted sides. Probably about the only thing the same is going to be the chain, but we'll see. All right, let's go ahead and start assembling this thing. Well, before I start assembling it, let's go ahead and see what else is in the package. Just like the other Sparrow I reviewed, this one includes a simple floor pump as well. That's very nice. All right, let's see what we have in here. Okay, here's our pedals. They're actually different than what my regular Sparrow have. My regular Sparrow had plastic pedals and they said Welco brand. This I'm not seeing the brand right off and they appear to be aluminum. So slight, slight difference there. Here's a skewer, some tools, and another box. Okay, that's the charger. Okay, gonna be the charger for the battery and little bit of information on it. I believe it is a Samsung charger, or excuse me, battery. Actually not a Samsung charger, doesn't look like. But this must be the battery itself. It's not super heavy, I can say that already. Yes, that's the battery. I packed that very well because that's probably a pretty expensive component. Now one thing to note is I don't see and I didn't see any instructions and I remember on my regular Detroit Sparrow there was a hang tag that said to visit their website for more instructions. I'm not seeing that in this package. I did happen to watch their video on their webpage which detailed uh, what to do when you get the bike. So to start with I guess I'm going to go ahead and remove the rest of the, the packing then put on the front wheel and see if the battery has charge. Let's get started.
All right, got all the packing off. Let's go ahead and put the front wheel on. Now, maybe an e-bike, but I've put a few front wheels on before, so I should be able to figure this out. Okay, and unlike my non-e version of the Sparrow, uh, the handlebars are not already tightened down, so I need to do that. I believe they did send me the tools, so that should be no problem at all. I think that's like a five millimeter. Not entirely sure. I think it's a five millimeter Allen. Next up, let's go ahead and put the pedals on. One difference between this Sparrow and my other Sparrow is this one doesn't have pre-greased cranks for the pedals. So there is a little bit of oil or something on the pedal, but nothing in here at all. So I'm gonna go grab some grease, put it in there. All right, what I was going to say is, uh, it looks like maybe this kickstand needs to be adjusted a little, little bit because in my opinion it's a bit more lean than I would like. The other thing I noticed, I have to say, and I don't know, maybe it's my fault or maybe it happened in shipping, but there is a small scratch right there on the frame. It's a deep one too, kind of. I think it's like, yeah, through the paint. That's not going to bother me any because, you know, riding bikes, you get scratches. But I, I fair, felt it's fair to point that out. Otherwise, the frame and everything looks so far as I can tell, absolutely perfect. I don't see any scratches in the wheels or anywhere else on the frame. I did kind of give it a once over. So initial impressions, very impressed. But I haven't even rode it yet. So let's go ahead and stick the battery in, see if it can tell me how much battery life we have and see if we can go for a little ride today. Let's see if I can figure out how to stick it on here. Okay, that might be it. There we go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now it's on there, great. Now let's switch that on. So I switched the battery on. Now I'm gonna come up here on the control panel and push this button. All right, two out of three green lights. That tells me that we have two thirds of the battery. So, cool. All right, well, I'm about to take this thing for a little ride. Come on back here in about a week or so and I'll give you a full detailed review, tell you all the pros, all the cons, all the details, all the everything. All right, see you guys later.